Fine by me. Sure, just don't treat me like a pack Brahmin, okay? You seen Dixon around? He said he'd be back today. Wanna get lucky? Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. Come to Mick and Ralph's. Looking for a fix, man? I got what you need. Yeah, man. Those cats are out of their domes, addicted to my shit. They can't get enough. Pretty hilarious to watch. Those fools are from NCR. I love seeing those squatters in agony. We were doing just fine before those shits came here and made a mess of things. We don't need NCR eggheads wandering around confusing things. Really? Ah, oh, you're such a saint. You know what? I might be willing to stop if there's something in it for me. Wait, man. You can't go around saying shit like that. Okay, I get your point. You won't have to worry about me supplying those two anymore. Bye. Watch out! You have chems, buddy? I could really use a fix. Julie's a saint, but I don't need help. I feel young and strong, as long as I get my chems. Why stop? I feel great. No worries. My guy will be here soon enough. Just wait. If I had two caps to scrape together, I'd buy the materials to make my own. But my damn hands won't stop shaking. This guy named Dixon. Something about him seems sketchy, but I can't stop now. Last time I stopped, I felt like I was gonna turn inside out. At this point, I'm mostly buying his stuff just so I don't feel sick. Speaking of which, do you have any spare caps? What? I need a fix now! Fine. If you really care so much, then give me some shots of fixer to calm down these shakes. I'm gonna need at least ten shots to get me through the week. From there, the followers should be able to help. I think you're right. I've been through worse. I'll go to the fort and see if the followers can watch over me while I recover. How's it going? to Mick and Ralph's for all your shop. Huh? 
Hungry? Thirsty? Come on, man, I'm dying here. Oh, Julie, I've really screwed things up. I'll head over to the fort and get some rest. This has gone on too long. to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. One of my aides said you got into the Lucky 38. If you see someone by the name of Emily near there, we would like you to work for us. That's phenomenal! Who did you find? They supply Freeside with drugs and liquor. From my point of view, they're just better organized pushers. Upgrading their stills would increase their supply of liquor and chems. How does that help Freeside? Good point. We wouldn't be paying anything for their supplies, just a portion of our food waste to make ethanol. We get food from nearby wasteland farmers in exchange for medical services, so we could put our caps back into helping Freeside. Tell the Garretts we'll keep their stills running if they provide us with supplies. Thank you for arranging this. You've been a godsend. I saw them. Thank you so much for helping them. This means a lot to the followers of the Apocalypse. You have our thanks. If you need some medical supplies, come see me. With Jacob working with us, we should be able to spare a stim or fixer once a day. The big man around here is the king. Not much happens in Freeside that he doesn't know about. He has the most influence locally, and some of his crew haven't helped the situation by harassing NCR citizens and charging double for water. Some NCR soldiers have been bringing in supplies, but none of it is going to Freeside locals. I've tried to speak to both sides to no avail. Sure. Would you like a stim pack, fixer, or rat away? You'll need to wait another 24 hours for us to get more made. We need everything else we currently have. What did you want to know?
Hello. This gentleman and I were just settling on a price. I'm afraid you'll have to hire one of the others this time around. This man's prices are steep, but I hear he's worth it. You want to travel through Freeside with ease? You hire a king. We're everywhere. And no one messes with us. Your safety is practically guaranteed for just 100 caps. Freeside's a little dangerous for people traveling alone or in small groups. You go without a guard, you're rolling the dice. You know? You must be new. Your tune will change, trust me. I saw a guy try to rush through the south gate a few days ago. Nothing left but dust, you know. Hey. What do we have here? Another petitioner for the king? Who's the king? You believe this asshole man? In Freeside, the kings rule, and the king rules the kings, got it? Anything's possible, I suppose. How much is it worth to you to meet the big man? You know what? I like you. Half the people around here, they forget who runs this place. Head on through. The king's the bored-looking guy by the stage. Can't fucking miss him. There's talk of someone going into the Lucky 38 to talk to Mr. House. That's bullshit. Everyone knows Mr. House doesn't talk to anyone. That friend of yours, NCR? He looks like he's NCR. Look, Rexy, someone new's come to see us. Poor boy. He hasn't been feeling well lately. I'm the king. What can I do for you? Maybe so. Maybe so. You look like you might be able to handle yourself. Tell you what, you do me a favor, and I'll have some more work for you when it's done. Sound good? I'll start you off with something easy. Did you notice the bodyguards for hire near the gates when you entered Freeside? It's good money if you can stay alive long enough. Freeside's not as safe as it used to be, so the money is well earned. Usually well earned, that is. Recently, my man tell me that one of those bodyguards, a fella named Oris, is making a little too much money. He's making a killing in repeat business. Once someone hires him, they never want anyone else. I want you to find out why. Specifically, I want you to hire him. Play the part of an innocent tourist and follow his lead. If nothing happens, so be it. But I'm guessing things won't go so smoothly. Call it a hunch. So, what do you say? Okay then. Once you part ways, return here. I'll look forward to hearing your report. Oh, and take this to cover the hiring cost. My eyes on the street. My eyes on the street tell me you haven't paid our mutual friend Oris of this. The squatters have been more and more trouble lately. We got nothing to talk about. Hi. There's talk of someone hey man, going into the Lucky 38 to? to talk to Mr. House. Later. That's bullshit. Everyone knows Mr. House doesn't talk to him. If it can be bought, it can be found at Mick and Ralph's. Come to Mick and Ralph's.
If you need to cross Freeside, no one will keep you safer than I will. 200 caps gets you my watchful eye for a trip to the South Gate. Done and done. I want to mention a few things up front. In order to ensure your safety, I need you to follow my instructions to the letter. We'll be heading down the main street here the whole way down. No detours. You go off sightseeing, and I go off to find another customer. I'll keep a brisk pace, so try not to fall behind. Now let's head out. To your left here is the old Mormon fort. You get roughed up, the followers there will patch you right up. Not that I ever need their services. Up ahead on the next block is where the kings hang out. Don't let them scare you. Come to Mick and Ralph for you all your one, shopping needs. Fun. Down to the right here is the fun part of town. You haven't seen Freesock till you've been to the Wrangler. Hey, slow down. I don't like the look of some of those men ahead. Let's take a different way around. to worry about. If you had hired one of those other hacks, you'd be up to your ass in low life right about now. Uh, noticed that, did you? I keenly aimed one of the shots through some soft tissue of one of them to hit the man behind him. That's an interesting theory you've got there. I'd suggest you keep it to yourself. Let's get moving. Stay close. I wouldn't want anything to happen to you. Come on, let's get this over with. Well, here we are. I trust you'll keep your mouth shut about the topic we were just discussing, or else. What do you have for me? So that's how it happens. Okay then, I'll have some guys pull him off the street when no one's looking. You've shown me something, so maybe you can help me with a matter that's a little more important. A lot of folks around these parts who've been here a while resent the sheer number of people that have come into the area since the strip was built. In turn, the newcomers, most of whom come from the NCR, have gotten ornery from being resented. Sometimes things get violent. This is one of those occasions. Recently, a few friends of mine were attacked, and I want you to find out who did it. Words come that they just woke up over at the old Mormon fort just north of here. Head on over, see if they remember anything. Good, I like that enthusiasm. Return when you have some information we can use. There's talk of someone going on. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people.
What is it? Can't you see I want to be left alone with my friend here? Oh, that's different then. How can I help? I'll do anything to get the bastards that did this. Well, it happened at night, around 11. We'd recently made some caps off a bit of scrap we found and wanted to invest it wisely. As we were leaving the Wrangler, we must have taken a wrong turn and ended up in the squatter side of town. From out of nowhere, these big guys show up and start barking questions at us, wanted to know if we were locals. The kid there is about as proud as a local around here gets and started yelling back at him. Then all hell broke loose. Kid got the worst of it, sad to say. They were big guys, young too. No old geezers like me. Hell, none of them looked even half my age. I was mostly face down in the dirt, begging for my life when it happened, so I only got a quick look at them. I hope you find the bastards that did this. If you want, try asking my friend Wayne over there about them. He saw more than I did. Wayne, it's okay. The king sent him. That true? Did the king really send you? I don't really know what else I can add. They were a bunch of guys, better dressed than most freesiders, I guess. That help? Sorry I couldn't help more, especially since you're being so nice. Hey, wait, I just remembered something. I might have heard one of the guys that attacked us call another by name. We had just about had it when one of them said, Hey, Lou, we gotta go. At least I think he said Lou. It might have been something else. Now that I think of it, he said Lou something, something with a T. Tenant, that's what he called him, Lou Tenant. He probably said Lieutenant Wayne. The boy means well, but he's dumb as a mutant sometimes. If it can be bought, it can... Have you found anything out, or were you just here to chat? Bunch of soldier boys, huh? They usually don't come around these parts since their big base is on the other side of the strip. If they're coming over here now, it's gotta be for a reason. I didn't want to believe the rumors that they're looking to take over Vegas, but now, if something big is going down, I'm sure rumors of it will have spread. Ask around particularly in the squatter areas where the NCR folk hang. You might also mosey on over to the Mormon fort and chat Julie Farkas up. The followers tend to be in the know about these things. Just don't ask her what to do about it. She'll probably ask you to hug someone or something. Hey. to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. Welcome. Only a little. A friend of mine, Major Elizabeth Kieran, has been handing out supplies to the poor a little west of here. What about it? I know something's got them riled up, but I've been too busy with other matters to really look into it. If you're looking into the matter, talk to Elizabeth. She's in charge of the operations here in Freeside, though she won't open up to you right away. If Elizabeth holds out on you, tell her that I sent you. She should be a little more forthcoming if you mention my name. Was there anything else you wanted to talk about?
Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? The king says to keep up the good work, and said to give you this. We've got stuff we're not even allowed. Yep. Hold up. What's the password? I guess you're not getting in here then, are you? Hold up. What's the password? If you're here to see the Major, then I suppose it's all right. Head on through. Howdy, Arcade. like a person in need of a good meal. You wouldn't happen to be an NCR citizen, would you? Now, it's not that I don't believe you, but I'm gonna have to give you a little quiz to verify your citizenship status. That okay with you? That's a good attitude. I'm sure you'll do fine. These are just a few questions that just about anyone in the NCR would know. All right, here we go. First question. Who was the most popular president in NCR history? Peterson, Tibbet, Kimball, or Tandy? Uh-huh. Okay, second question. What was the original name of the NCR capital? Aradesh, Shady Sands, The Boneyard, or Vault 13? Right. Fine, then. Last question. What animal is on the NCR's flag? A two-headed bear, an eagle, a two-headed snake, or a two-tailed lion? Oh, I'm sorry. It looks like you've got some of your facts mixed up. I'm afraid I can't help you. I'm sure some don't, but the loyal ones do. And that's who we're aiming to help. The loyal ones. Still, you've got a fire in you that tells me you're one of us and just screwed up. So I'll let you take the test again if you'd like. Just stop by. Ah, you're back.
We've got stuff we're not even... Here you go. I hope this helps. Welcome. There's food and water here for any citizen of the NCR. Please, have some. Yes. I'm a major in the Supply Corps, which is where this food and water comes from. No, I'm afraid we don't. Don't you have a friend you want to bring in? You were right. But here, take another helping for your friend. It'll be our secret. Yes? Was there something else you needed? That's not really a pleasant topic of conversation. Let's just say we have our reasons. You know Julie? Not everyone in the NCR sees eye to eye with the followers. But they're okay in my book, mostly because of her. If you really want to know, we sent an envoy to the King, offering to coordinate the relief effort. In a manner of speaking, our envoy was brutally beaten and only barely survived. My superiors ordered the relief mission scrapped. I managed to get clearance to carry out the mission anyway, but with greatly reduced support. Now there's not enough supplies to go around, even if I wanted to serve the rest of Freeside, which I don't. That's all in the past now. I should get back to work. Say hi to Julie for me. Did you know this trip's all stirred up lately? Hello? Hey there. I heard that NCR soldier lady told you some wild story about them sending a messenger to us to work out some deal. That's bullshit, and it's nothing to bother the king with. More like they sent someone to spy on us, and he wasn't tough enough to last in Freeside. So do everyone a favor and keep your mouth shut about it, okay? You're a bastard after my own heart. Here, this should do it. Why, you lit- You're just lucky I got something important to take care of. We'll settle this later. What's up? You find out something about them soldier boys yet? Handing out supplies? Like food and stuff? That ain't nothing to get ruffled over. You find anything else? Ah, that would explain the goons. They're here to keep people like my friends away from the food. That ain't something I support. No, sir. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They said what? Huh. That would explain why they're all riled at us. Seems like we have a big misunderstand. What the hell? King, we've got problems. Lay it on me. What's going on? There's a shootout going down near the train station. It's Pacer and some strangers. Might be NCR. What is that fool doing? I need you to head out there and try to defuse the situation. Tell them I'm willing to cooperate. Those squatters think they're entitled to it. What can the king do for you? Everything. Hey.
you there. Keep your hands where we can see him. Draw a weapon and we will fire. This isn't really a good time. What did you want? Like he helped the envoy we sent? <laughs> no thanks. Then he should watch his back. We know for a fact that the envoy made it to their headquarters. Still, if the king's willing to deal with us, perhaps we can work something out. I'll tell my men to stand down. Hello. Hey there. We hope to see you by the train station one of these nights. The king just sent a messenger over, saying these guys are off limits. He's probably already heard about what you did here. Looks like you get to be a hero. Enjoy it while it lasts. I heard all about what happened. Maybe it's time for a little more talking and a little less fighting. You've helped us plenty, so I'll tell you what. Just this once, name whatever you want. And if I can make it happen, it's done. Don't rush it, though. Toss it around in your head a little. You only get one favor from the king. Things have been a lot better since you helped with... Near as I can tell, with some sort of religious institution. Oh, I know it says school out front, but everything in here seems to be related to the worship of some guy from back in the day. People used to come here to learn about him, to dress like him, move like him, to be him. If that's not worship, I don't know what is. As far as we can tell, the guy that built this place was considered the coolest of the cool and taught other people how to be more like him. People would come all around to learn how to sing, dance, dress, and even speak the way he did. I got Rex here from a salvager a few years ago. He was a little dinged up when I got him, but one of the followers fixed him right up. He's been acting peculiar for some time now. I took him to the followers and had him checked out, and they said his brain is bad or something. No, they said they don't have the tools to help him. I don't know. Maybe. If you found a way to help my poor Rex here, I'd be much obliged. Your best bet will be to talk to Julie Farkas over at the old Mormon fort north of here. Maybe you'll have better luck than I did. Ask away. Caps are a little tight these days, but with our guards making more and those supplies coming in, I reckon I can spare some. This 
strip's not a bad place if you love terrible things and people. Where to, partner? <laughs> 